Dykes on Disc, Ella, Chapter 20, Mojave Desert Revisited. Gabby saw no more signs of earthquake activity in the toilet after the toilet bowl incident. She did feel the earth move when Ella slid her fingers into the dark, warm, slippery nether regions between her legs, though. That night she dreamt of waterfalls and jungles. Gabby wondered what Freud would think of that. The next morning, the couple headed east again, east on the I-10, a hundred miles out of Palm Spring, approximately eight miles past Tonopah, which means hot water under a bush, near Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station, in the middle of the southern Mojave Desert, thwomp, 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 thwomp. This time, Ella knew what that sound was. She grasped the steering wheel firmly with both hands and guided the vehicle off the road. Gabby was on the job, too. She called AAA. Then settled down beneath an acacia bush with her straw hat and gallon jug of water. Ella scoured the horizon for life. Nothing. Occasionally, a semi would roar past, giving only a brief gust of hot wind. Gabby scanned the landscape, too. Sabaro cactus. Devil's Claw, sand, sand, and more sand, and further out, mountains. She decided that if this is where it was all going to end, she might as well be in an altered state of mind. She got out her little pipe and sipped. Not five minutes after she had put her pipe back into her pocket, an Arizona State Trooper showed up. He looked the part. Aviator shades, muscular build, and a gun at his side. Gabby couldn't help thinking that this man could kill her out here in the middle of nowhere and no one would know. Luckily, this kind man must have felt the women's discomfort because he took his hand off his gun where he had been resting it. He regaled them with stories of rattlesnakes and cattle. The trooper said he would come back to check on them. An hour later, AAA still had not come, but the trooper came again to check on them. He was indeed an angel in disguise. Another hour later, the man from AAA came, and the two women were eventually headed east again, to Buckeye, where they would stop for the night. To be continued. Looking at all the life There were plants and birds And rocks and things There were sounds 